Heart Health Month isn't just for people anymore. Our four-legged family members need protection as well. But more than half of all dogs living in the region most susceptible to heartworm never receive a single dose of medication. Veterinarian and author Dr. Ernie Ward has the scoop on how to protect your pets from heartworm. Good morning. Good morning, and before we get started, we're talking about heart health and American Idol. I mm -hmm. will tell you what makes my wife's heart go pitter-patter, and that's my hometown boy, Philip Phillips. So oh. we've got to root him on here, hoping he does well. He's from my neck of the woods down in South Georgia. So talking about heart, she's got a healthy heart when he comes on the screen. Oh, I bet. We got a little shout-out. You know what? I, lo I love anyone from the South, so good stuff there. But in the South, we like to eat those unhealthy foods, and of course, that's bad for our heart. And then the animals, our, our dogs, they, they get heartworm. And uh, I, I believe right. that's becoming a big problem. What exactly is it? Can you tell us more about heartworm? Yeah, heart disease is transmitted to dogs, cats, and ferrets by the bite of an infected mosquito. So it injects these little baby microfilaria, these little larvae, into the bloodstream of a dog or cat, and then those grow up to be 14-inch-long worms that live in the heart and the lungs. I mean, this is disgusting, mm -hmm. but it's deadly. Now, up until this point, we've been able to treat dogs successfully with a drug for heart disease. Bad things happened last year. Plants shut down, all kind of problems. We don't have the drug to treat it anymore. In fact, it's on an indefinite back order. Hmm. The FDA has just allowed us to divert product from Europe, so we're getting it rationed out. But the key is to prevent heartworm disease. This is going to be an important year for us. Right. Now, the prevention is worth a pound of cure, that's for sure, especially in this case. So uh, what regions of the country do you think are most acceptable to heartworm, and, and what do we do about preventing this? Right. Well, unfortunately, heart disease has been diagnosed in all 48 of the contiguous U.S. states. So it's out there in New Mexico, it's in the south, it's in the north, it's everywhere. And basically, you're looking for warm temperatures and water. That's what mm -hmm. mosquitoes like. And once they're around, they're breeding, they're going to transmit this disease. Right. To prevent it, there's once a month preventives. And if people are trying to look for ways to save money, talk to your vet about these combination products. You know, we've got heartworm, fleas. Who wants to deal with fleas, especially in the warm months? and we've got intestinal parasites like roundworms and hookworms that you can get or your kids can get. Talk to your vet, save some money, get one of the products, it's all in one pill, you're done. Are we seeing a rise in the, the number of occurrences of heartworm now? You're absolutely right. Each year, the numbers increase. And there's been a couple of factors. Number one, of course, there's a general warming trend. We talk about global warming. This is one of the things that we start to see. Second thing is the economy. People have been cutting back on their, you know, vet bills and they've been trying to cut back on what they spend on their pets unfortunately they're cutting back on an area that's very deadly you can't cut back on heartworm prevention especially this year when we've got a shortage of the drug used to treat it and do you have any advice for if it's too late if if it is too late and you're in your dog and your your if your pet gets heartworms is there anything we can do Right. We are modifying some of the drug treatments to try to help slow it down till we can get the treatment. Mm -hmm. Again, you need to have this conversation with your veterinarian. If a dog is diagnosed, we, you know, they're rationing the drug out, so we are able to get some, but it's certainly not like it was a year and a half ago. So, uh, again, prevention, prevention, prevention. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Dr. Ernie. Great tips. And where can we go for more Thank information? Thank you. Well, a good website, nomoreheartworms.com. So when you're checking out all your idle favorites, making your votes next week, make sure you go ahead and visit nomoreheartworms.com and uh, cast a vote for your dog. All right. Thank you so much. We'll make sure we put that up on our website, casa.com. Coming up next on New Mexico Style, beat the heat and stay cool in summer school.